Nina? Well, the race is tight. In fact, um, Coakley's internal polls show her down within the margin of error, but a couple points down. And I think what happens historically in these kinds of races where it's a lower turnout, um, when, when the momentum is breaking in a certain direction, in this case the momentum and the energy is all with, with the Republican, um, that that tends to carry the day on election day. So I think, yes, they're nervous, they're very tight. I would say two things. One, I agree with Bill. I do think this is a referendum on the health care bill because 60% um, of Massachusetts voters think the bill is too expensive. 51% uh, think that th they oppose it. The, th the other thing is that Massachusetts, this liberal Massachusetts, this dirty little secret about that state is that they do not have a history of electing women to national office. We now have uh, Nikki Songus, the, the widow of Senator Paul Songus, in the congressional delegation for Massachusetts. But before she, and that was a recent election. Before that, 25 years before they had elected a woman to Congress, 35 years before they had elected a woman Democrat. Um, and then we have Coakley saying on an, a radio show, she, uh, she said that uh, uh, Red Sox great Kurt Schilling was a, uh, a Yankees fan, which doesn't help her on, on that score. So I think that's something else that is feeding into this election. Right.